Trying to profit during a recession can be a tricky task as economic downturns can be unpredictable and often result in financial difficulties for many people. However, here are a few ways that some investors or entrepreneurs may attempt to profit from a recession. Invest in defensive stocks. Defensive stocks are companies that provide products or services that are in demand regardless of the economic climate, such as healthcare, utilities, or consumer staples. These companies may be less affected by a recession and therefore their stocks may be more stable and less less volatile than other stocks. Investing in these companies can potentially provide some protection against market downturns. Purchase distressed assets. During a recession, some assets such as real estate or stocks may become undervalued as people sell off their investments to generate cash. Investing in these distressed assets with the expectation of their value increasing over time can potentially result in a profit in the long run. Short selling. Now, this strategy involves borrowing shares of a stock and then selling them with the expectation that the stock price will decrease, allowing the investor to buy back the shares at a lower price and profit from the distance difference. However, short selling is a risky strategy that requires significant skill and knowledge, generally not recommended for inexperienced investors. Now we got to talk about investing in gold and other precious metals because real assets during a recession, investors may flock to safe haven assets like gold, which can potentially increase in value and maintain value over long periods of time while other assets depreciate. Start a recession resistant business. Some businesses such as healthcare, education, or a essential services like plumbing or HVAC may be less affected by a recession than others. Starting a business in these industries can potentially provide some insulation against the economic downturn and can even thrive during a recession as people prioritize spending on these essential goods and services. There are some businesses that may be more recession resistant than others. Here are a few examples of businesses that could potentially thrive during a recession. Discount retailers. During a recession, consumers may be more likely to cut back on non-essential spending and seek out deals and bargains. Discount retailers like Dollar Tree or Aldi, which offer low-cost products, may see increased demand during a recession. During the Great Recession, discount retailers like Dollar Tree, Dollar General, and Aldi saw significant growth, with Dollar Tree's revenue increasing by 51% from 2007 to 2009. Repair services. During a recession, people may be more likely to try repair or maintain their existing belongings rather than purchase new ones. Starting a business that provides repair services such as appliance, computer, or automotive repair could potentially do well during these times. During the financial crisis, many automotive repair businesses saw increased demand, with some reporting growth of 10% to 15%. Healthcare services. People's healthcare needs do not disappear during a recession and may actually increase as people experience higher levels of stress or illness. Starting a healthcare related business could potentially be recession resistant option. During the 2001 recession, healthcare services remained a growing industry while healthcare job growth outpaced overall job growth. These are just a few things, a few options for you, but you have to understand when there is that contraction, you have the ability to go in and take additional market share. This could be in whatever category you are involved in. You have a skill. You currently work in a job. You may have been taught something by somebody else, or you can acquire a new skill. At that time, you have the option to go out there Try to make it happen and do what you can for your local community, or you can look elsewhere. You got to diversify where you are selling your product or service, if at all possible. And of course, you want to do something that is recession resistant. And the reason I say this geographical diversification is because your city, your state, your province might have problems. But what about another one over there? Maybe it's not encountering an issue. Maybe you live in, let's just say Idaho, they are having a problem, but you look over there and Georgia's doing just fine. Or it could be a situation in which you live in Vancouver, it's not going so well, but you sell in, let's say the UK, UK is doing good. Now you have this new way of doing business today with the internet that makes things so possible that wasn't there before. All of these things I'm talking to you about are just some options. I try to do what I can from my position here to help you out, to try to inform you as best I can. I've got 
everything from courses to videos on on the you know the, on the channel you look at the channel you see them all there i've got books i've got everything all the different resources and of course you have me directly you can always message me contact me and i'm willing to answer any questions that you may have if you want to know how to grow a business that's something that i help people with as well i'm always trying to do my best to bring you the latest and greatest information if you want more information like this you definitely got to subscribe to the channel and i'll see you tomorrow take care